Well, with the spring comes new baby birds, and with the new baby birds comes nesting, and sometimes those nests are not in the best places. All new at 6, Fox News' Jamie Travers is live with what you can do to prevent those nests in unwanted places. Jamie, good time to talk about this. Yes, exactly. Birds like to build their nests in areas that are sheltered from the elements, so that can mean in and around your homes, which is sometimes okay, but can sometimes be problematic, and there are some things that you should be aware of. First, this means they're bringing strong leaves into your house. Also, obviously, um, you know, they leave some droppings behind. It might get on the windows, things like that. Plus, they carry some parasites that can be a problem for humans once the birds leave the nest. Examples would be if you had an air conditioner unit on your window um, and the bird had a nest underneath of it. As those birds grow up and fly off, those parasites don't have anything to feed on and they search out a new host and sometimes that could be us. When it comes to moving the nest, that's not always an option. There are a few of them out there that um, um, have some protection, um, your barn swallows, maybe woodpeckers, things like that, um, and any of your migratory birds like geese um, or even some of the hawks. Those species are protected once there are eggs in the nest until the baby birds fly away. For many of the other species... You can take that nest and move it to an area that might be a little better for the homeowner as well as them. Um, but if you're going to do that, make sure they've got some protection so that they are out of the elements and that'll help them survive as well. But some enjoy having nests nearby. Every year, every spring around this time, we always have birds that nest throughout the house. And so it's a fun scavenger hunt for my kids to figure out where are the birds nesting? This year, the new one is in the mailbox. That's a new one. They have found homes. Have you seen back there uh, our two little planters? And we're happy to have them there as long as they don't bother us and we don't bother them. Another favorite spot are those wreaths on our front door. A couple of years ago, we did have them in our wreath, and we decided for safety reasons to move it. And now, because we don't have that anymore, we just let them do their thing. As long as they're not aggressive to us, we're good. The best way to control this issue is exclusion. You, know, you can use hardware cloth. These materials generally don't rust. They're pretty heavy duty. Um, there are some, if you had like ledges, you could put spikes on it so that the birds don't land on it. It won't kill them, it just deters them. And any holes or voids around your house, those are ideal spots for them. And also like on the house behind me where the brick meets the siding, that can be a popular spot, as well as those dryer vents. And they also uh, sell plastic and even metal covers for those at the big box stores. Reporting live from South County, meteorologist Jamie Travers, Fox 2 News.